and welcome. I'm Lisa Chrysler, and you are enjoying community storytelling, and we have another great story for you to hear and to be told. I've got Christine Burke with me, who is the recent past president of the League of Assist Assistance League of Los Gatos slash Saratoga. That's correct. Either way you say it, it's a wonderful organization. I love what you do, and I think if I have it right, your motto is transforming lives and strengthening community. That, that's correct. And I think that says it all. But go ahead, tell us in words what you guys do. Well, Assistance League of Los Gatos Saratoga is part of a national organization of 120 chapters nationwide. And but the best one is right here. And the here. best one is right yes. here. We started about 14 years ago. Um, we have 120 members. And what's unique about us is we're an all-volunteer nonprofit organization. We uh, are working within within the community to identify unmet needs, um, and, and we research projects uh, and implement philanthropic programs in our local community of Los Gatos, Saratoga, so, and Campbell. I'm going to make things easy okay. for you right now because I know off the top of your head you can tell us all you do for the young kids, and many of them are in Los Gatos. Many of the children that we do serve are in Los Gatos. And Gattis. these are, I don't think we call them at risk, but we call them maybe uh, lower income kids who need help. Every community, regardless of how um, economically advantaged they are or aren't, has individual families Absolutely. with need. Absolutely. Uh, within Los Gatos itself, we work with the school district, the elementary school district, to identify those kids that don't have warm coats and shoes. And so, in the last 14 years oh. working um, with the, uh, the school district, we've provided over 400 um, coats and shoes to kids in Los Gatos alone. And we've got the new school year, so I know you're right year, there. Waiting to see what the cold weather brings yes. us and which kids need our, but, our extra help. And every child, you know, I remember this when I was a kid, the most exciting thing about the new school year was to get a new pair of shoes. Exactly. I think I only had two pairs yeah. of shoes when I was a little kid, the dress shoes and the school shoes. This is so true. And they really just want to be like all the other kids Absolutely. in Los Gatos. So that's, that's our goal with the school Love children it. in Los Gatos. But not only that, you read to kids. We, yes, we have all kinds of other programs. We really support literacy, uh, children's literacy by reading to children in the classrooms and sending home books with kids who have no books of their own in their own homes. Okay, don't make me cry. Okay, because <laughs> I have no, I have a card, I have an index card. Yes. Doesn't help with the tears. And I know that you help send kids to science camp. We help ki send kids to science camp. We do one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Uh, we work with a dictionary day program where we put dictionaries in the hands of all the third graders. So, and what is it about third grade that you decide they need dictionaries? Um, it's actually part of a, a state program of dictionary day throughout the state of California and the Campbell School District still does this. Um, in third grade, uh, they're working to learn alphabetizing skills. Yes. You know, we don't, may not think a paper dictionary is necessary with the advent of computers, but these kids don't necessarily have computers yes. or access to computers at home. And learning to alphabetize is still a vital skill to develop at the, the third grade level. And we, you know, we, we have so many of the kids that are Spanish speaking and we send them home with uh, an English Spanish lexicon. One of the more heartbreaking stories we got was a, a young boy, and this is no more than three miles away from where we are right now, yes. who had asked if he could have an extra English-Spanish dictionary so he could take it home to his mother, who he hoped oh my would be able to learn English and find a job so that he and his sister wouldn't be hungry. I just pounded on my I, microphone. we got to move it away from you know, the heart because <laughs> I can't handle these stories. Uh, so we're, we're making a difference. And um, we're excited going into the fall because we're working on two new programs. Um, one is supporting teachers with STEAM projects uh, in the classroom yes. so that we can get more engineering and science programs uh, in every classroom. And we're, we'll be working mostly with K through third grade teachers and supporting that, as well as gardens um, in the schools. We'll be helping middle school age kids. Uh, grow, harvest, and learn perhaps to enjoy vegetables. Which they can bring home to their exactly. parents. You know, I have a daughter who for years taught kindergarten and now she's teaching a four or five split. Mm -hmm. But I know how much she appreciates that when a parent comes into a classroom, a volunteer comes right. into a classroom, and that's what you're doing. How 
do you get more volunteers? Because now everybody's going to want to be a part of the Assistance well, League. Well, and we would love to have more volunteers. And you can always go to our website at allgs.org to learn more about us or to ask for information to join us. Um, you know, so many of our Los Gatos parents are so wonderful at volunteering yes. in their own kids' programs. Um, but a lot of the other schools we serve don't have that pool of volunteers, parents, mm -hmm. because they're working so many jobs. And what we're hoping is, you know, when your kids get older and maybe you aren't allowed in the classroom anymore. <laughs> because you, the kids don't want you there exactly, either. Exactly, <laughs> but you're still looking for the camaraderie and getting to know new people who are interested in volunteering and doing the same things, that you'll think about us. We have a lot of opportunities to work with these school-aged children, along with our other programs, and like any nonprofit organization, we're always interested yes. in people who, with those leadership skills, that would love to come help us run our, so our, our what organization. Do you do when you're not a volunteer? Um, well, I, I I I don't do anything but volunteer. <laughs> 24-7. Um, You're the perfect volunteer. I, I, I do do a, a little bit of work on this side as a website developer. Okay, I wasn't um, sure if you were an educator because you seem to have the love. Actually an engineer by training, but oh. I, I'm really excited to You're wonderful. help boost all the other kids and hopefully give them the same advantages and access to yes. education that I did. Transforming lives, strengthening communities. Exactly. That's the Assistance League of Los Gatos slash Saratoga. So nice to meet you, Christine Thank Berg. you. Thank you for having me. And say your website again in case somebody wants to volunteer. It's A-L-L-G-S dot org. Got that? All right. And you got ours, I hope, because community storytelling, it's all about you and your stories. And there are so many untold stories. I had never even known about Assistance League. And I thought about all, I thought I knew all about all the volunteer <laughs> organizations, but I didn't. So you know what? Tell us your story. Go to kcat.org and nominate yourself or nominate someone you love or know. And then we'll see you right here sitting in this chair alongside me, Lisa Chrysler, KCAT TV 15.